couple very special in-studio guests with us this morning, Peg Brody from Labrador Rescue and our friend Chase this morning. Yes. And Chase is a dog who's even rescued. He was dropped off, and this is a very heart-wrenching story that goes along with Chase, isn't it? Yes, and unfortunately it happens to a lot of, uh, a lot of dogs out there, but Chase was dropped off in the country, mm -hmm. and uh, come here, let's have, let's show everybody how good you, how good you are. Huh. And uh, I get the tail, naturally. <laughs> That's okay, though. He, he was dropped off in the country, and uh, a little note was attached to him uh, to his collar and it says my name is Chase I need a good home house broke master has died yeah. and the kind people where he showed up on their porch they took him to a, uh, a local shelter and then the shelter actually contacted Labrador Retriever Rescue mm -hmm. of uh, Cincinnati and that's how he ended up there now tell us a little bit about Labrador Retriever Rescue well they are a wonderful organization they uh, they have taken in over a thousand labs since they started and placed over a thousand labs just last year they took in around 200 um, and uh, they have uh, chocolate uh, yellow um, black labs all of them needing good homes and what they try to do is when people go on their website which is rescuealab.com mm -hmm. what they do is uh, they ask you to fill out the application and then they try to match the personality traits of the family or the people who are adopting the dog uh, you you know, so that it's a good, it's a real good fit. Yeah, we have some pictures of some of the dogs here showing up on screen now. There's some of the ones that are available for rescue from Labrador Rescue, and it looks, it looks some pretty good looking dogs there. Oh, absolutely beautiful. And, you know, they have them in foster care. Mm -hmm. um, and every dog that comes out of there has had all of his shots. He's been spayed or neutered, microchipped. They spare no expense in taking care of these dogs. So, truly a remarkable organization. And speaking of money, we have some license plates here that we can talk about this morning, which helped them get money for the uh, shelter. Yes, in fact, uh, the rescuealab.com, this was where you go to uh, adopt one of these guys, they actually received um, over $2,000 uh, in the granting last year. And a lot of people wonder where the, where the, um, the money goes right. from the sale of plates. But these plates, unlike any other license plates out there, strictly benefit the animals. This is our horse license plate. And then we also have the current one, um, there is a new one yes. that was just out. It's the kitten plate. And then we, a lot of people have seen the cartoon image, which is right behind this one here. Oh, wait, wait, is this one? It's a cartoon. Oh, okay. Oops, there's our lab. No, one more. One more. One more. There. There we this go. This is our lab. Uh, this is our kitten plate. I mean, our uh, our pet friendly plate, the mm -hmm. one that a lot of people see out there. And we um, just granted uh, Central Ohio Shelters around $40,000 uh, in grants for spay, neuter, and education. And it goes to the low income uh, for spaying and neutering. Mm -hmm. It goes to humane societies and animal shelters. All right, Peg, thank you so much thank for coming you. in this morning. And may I say, if anyone wants to adopt Chase, sure. where they go? All right, they go to rescuealab.com, fill out the application, and Chase can come home with you. All right, terrific. Thank you very much. Chase is ready to go home with someone here, Mike and Michaela. I can tell. Just not with you. You don't need another one, do you, Bob? Well, not right this. <laughs> All right, well, thanks, guys.